Welcome back YouTube fam. In today's video, we're gonna be installing the Diode Dynamics dish lights with the low profile uh, mounting bracket. I'll put the link in the description. I just bought the whole kit. Um, in addition to the kit, I just bought the uh, tall and skinny switch to make it look OEM, make it look original with the switch. Um, so let's get to it. Let's get to the install. Everything that you see here comes in the kit. The kit does come with a round generic switch. However, I ordered a separate switch from Calraised LED. So these ditch light brackets are not labeled, but how I laid it out, this is gonna be on the driver's side, so on the left side, and this is gonna be on the passenger side, the right side. Hold the, hold the hood up just a little bit like that. Just a little pressure. There you go. Thank you. So my hood did move a little bit, but because I made some um, sharpie marks here on the hood and on the hinge, I have a reference reference point. So at least it's close enough and I'm gonna just keep checking it. I did one there and one here at the corner as well. I just matched it back up as best as I can. I can't see of any other way where you can just do one bolt at a time. I've checked out a couple other people's videos uh, and installs and I don't know how they did it. There's for me, there's no way to do it. You can't just undo one bolt and then do the other. Just checking for clearance. You see here, the clearance is just right. No contact anywhere. And this is lifted with the Soki Tex. So even if it does shift on you, don't worry about it. Here's a blank switch, let's pop it out. So I laid the wiring harness out in the sun so at least it makes it a little more pliable and easier to work with. This end that has the switch, we're gonna disconnect it here. It looks like we can reconnect, disconnect it here. Um, obviously this goes inside the cab. And this is going to have to go through the firewall. All right, I'm going to choose to go through this firewall right here. This little grommet. Actually, it's a big grommet where your main harness goes through. I made a little notch here on the rubber grommet. Right there. So we can just uh, slip the wire through there. I had to open up the mounting hole because I wanted to mount the relay in this specific spot. 
Reconnect the wires that go through the firewall back with the main harness. Make sure to hear that click. Also make sure there's plenty of slack. All right, here's the situation. Let's give you a little update. I was able to fish the wire here through on the passenger side. Oh, great. Again. And um, we're just gonna plug this into the back. But however, the tricky part was to get it through this little rubber uh, part of the cowl. I didn't show you exactly how I did it because honestly I struggled for a good minute, but I was able to get it pushed uh, through this little corner piece here. Make sure to leave a little slack here in this little pocket area because this is where the wire is going to pivot at, you know, along with the hinge of the hood so that it can slide and glide easily here. Just tuck in a little extra here. So a lot of people like to uh, not have the illumination light. Um, lit on at night i do that's my preference so if you've noticed there's four on this cali rays harness that goes plugs to the back of the switch and then there's only three coming from the um, ditch light harness so there's going to be one extra one it's going to be the red one next to the black one that's going to be your illumination so just remember that um, so we're going to find which plug and since um, I have the uh, Miso uh, puddle light switch right here, that one is illuminated when you turn on, when you have the corner lights on, or when, just when you turn on your lights. I want mine to light up just like how this one lights up too, or everything else lights up. Uh, otherwise, when you're driving in the dark, you can't see where the button is. Um, so I like mine to be lit up so I can see where it is, so I can punch it. Um, when I when I turn it off, I'll just you know I'll know the lights are on. I'll just turn it off. So a lot of people don't like that for some reason that I've seen online, but I like mine to be on. So let's find out which one is the illumination one. So I have this one, this uh, light tester uh, set up already to ground. The other end is to the ground, and I'm just gonna poke in the back of the harness here which one lights up. First thing you turn on your light switch to where you see everything lit, lit up. And there's three behind this particular. All right, so I found my illumination um, wire there. So I'm just gonna tap that wire and um, wire it to the harness. Use your choice of connectors and start connecting away. All right, to summarize the wiring schematic, um, what I gathered on the internet and uh, all the uh, paper handouts and manuals that came with it. Again, this is from, this harness is from the lights. This is what comes with the CaliRays LED switch. And this one is just simply from the Miso Puddle Light. I'll explain this to you in a little bit. But anyways, you're going to connect your black to black, your white to green, and then your blue to red. The red one that's next to the black should be your illumination wire. Again, that's for when, when it's dark out and you have your light switch on, the, uh, the switch will light on as well, just like everything else. I like it that way, it's my preference. Otherwise, if you, you don't care if it turns the uh, button light, lights up at night or not, then just wire the two red ones together to the blue. That's all you gotta do. But if you wanna do it this way, then find an illumination somewhere. Use a test light like I did earlier that I showed you. In my case, I found one real close by. Again, this is the Miso Puddle Light switch. I have it right next to here. I determined that this one was the illumination, so I just T-tapped into it. If you don't know what a T-tap is, look it up. Really easy. And then it just hooks up to this, again, this red wire that is next to the black. And that's what it looks like.
I basically just tucked the wire in behind the main harness here and I did not have to zip tie anything I feel pretty confident about it um, you know you can push it in and down it's just held on by friction and I am pretty confident in it. it's not gonna unravel itself all the way through and it looks pretty clean like you can't even tell So this is what I was telling you about when you flip on the light switch, it should illuminate. But the ditch lights are off, okay? They're not on. And then when you hit it, that lights up and then your ditch lights are on. Overall, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. It just takes a little time if you want the wires to be nice and neat and tucked. So that's where you take the extra time. Otherwise, if you just want to slap it on, 30 minutes, maybe an hour, but it took me many hours uh, to get the videoing and also just tucking and making sure the connections are nice and tight. What I'd probably do in the next couple days, couple weeks is make sure my, um, again, my crimp connections are tight, the uh, connections at the battery are tight, and also when the hood articulates up and down. I'm just going to double check that, make sure nothing's binding there and there's plenty of slack on both uh, lights. But uh, otherwise, everything's looking good, working good, and I look forward to using it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.